Hello to another episode of Cherry Guide. I mean, not Cherry Guide. What am I saying? I'm so used to that. Hello to another episode of Minecraft. How to build a good Minecraft series. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Cherry Guide series. But, um, I'll be explaining gardens in this video. So, here. Um. I have this, like, modern-esque garden here, with a well in the middle. I did, like, each each section here a different color of tulip. Yep, tulip. Okay, so, um, right here is a fallen tree. This could be in gardens that have, like, fallen trees, and you can make a story out of that. Like this, for example. This is pretty interesting. My next one is this. If you add some leaves for like vines, maybe. Um, so yeah, um, that's that. Um, here is like a little pond with some amethyst you could put in the water in a garden or something, for example. But yeah. Um, if you see here, there's grass, well no, not actual grass, but sea grass. You could actually even use trees, like the saplings, as items for your garden. Also, like, use saplings, or you could do this, a batch of saplings. Next is like a, uh... You could have a skulk garden, or a moss garden, who knows? Yeah, um, here's an old house, you could have an old house in your garden to add lore to your builds, so yeah, um, maybe add to, adding some lore to your builds. Next is this, maybe if you want a contained area, for your um, a bit large flowers, maybe do a uh, moss and azalea hedge thing here with some grass and on top. So, yeah, here's some flowers here. Next is leveling different gardens. You could have different levels for your gardens, just like this. If I go up here, um, and go up here, uh, there's a bunch of flowers, different levels for your flowers, so yeah, um, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next episode, bye!